All right, what's going on guys? T Torres back here for another video. So in today's video, Connor and I are gonna be installing the Chimera, Chimera, however you wanna say it, um, header pipe that um, Steady Garage had, had blessed us with. So they hooked it up on that and an intake. So we're gonna do this in a two-part video. We're gonna do one for an intake install and one for a header pipe install as well. So before, um, before I shot this clip, we got some, uh, some revs of the bike as it was hot. So I'll play that now. All right, so before the uh, bike gets completely cooled down, Connor just rode over and we're gonna give you guys a sample of what the uh, stock exhaust sounds like on the Manelli uh, 135. All right, so there you have it. So we're gonna get to uh, installing the, uh, the Chimera header pipe. This bad boy right here. So should uh, open her up. Yep. So we're, we're excited to see what the sound difference is going to be like, and of course the performance gain. All right. So Connor's gonna gonna open up the pipe. Okay. Turn right here. All right. So Connor, how many miles we got on the bike? I believe eighty. 82 miles in, Let's we are see. doing our first mod. Oh, come on, there it is. Let's see. 87, 87 miles, and the first mod we're going to be doing is the uh, header pipe. There she is. Yeah, I think that's going to flow air a lot, yeah. a lot better. I do too. So it shouldn't be too bad. So we're going to go over the install and how to uh, how to put this pipe on step by step. So let's get into uh, today's install. All right. So first things first, we decided we're going to we're going to unbolt the uh, O2 bong or the O2 sensor. And we're going to set it to the side, and then we're probably going to take the header pipe off from the head over here on that side where Connor's at. Once he gets that O2 sensor removed, uh, we will move to that side and show you show you what that is. He's using a 17 mil. Yep. 17 mil on the O2 sensor. All right, so in order to get the O2 sensor out, uh, Connor and I, we unplugged it on the other side of the bike. It, it's kind of, it's, it gets kind of bound up a little bit, but we got the O2, O2 sensor out. Uh, we thought we were gonna have to take some of the plastics off, but we were able to, uh, 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 able to get it out from this side, so. Yeah, so pretty much guys, um, you don't, you can undo it, but what we were afraid of is as we were spinning, the wires were getting twisted. Uh, I didn't want to twist it too far to the point and stretch a wire, or snap a wire, and then we're shit out of luck. Uh, so pretty much, if you reach up in there, you can get access to the plug um, and unplug it. It's just gonna take some work with a flathead screwdriver. You can get it and then that, that'll give you enough slack in the line to push it down to where you can get the O2 sensor out without it uh, binding up too much. All right, so let's get on to the next part. We're probably going, to, yeah, let's go ahead and get to these. There's two, uh, two header bolts uh, right here. I'll get you guys the size on that here in just a second. All right, so let me get you a shot right here. So right here, there are two 13 millimeter bolts that you need to remove uh, the exhaust uh, from the, the head of the bike, and it is still hot. I just burnt my finger. All right, guys, uh, so we just loosened the two header bolts at the engine, and if you just, super simple, you follow the exhaust down, you're gonna have a bolt right here off of the frame to the muffler. This is going to be a six mil uh, Allen. And then moving on to the back here, you've got one clamp that holds the exhaust to the pipe. As you can see, I already took it off. It's one second. Sorry. Right. All right. So here's your clamp and oh, yeah. this is a 10 mil uh, bolt to loosen this clamp and then the exhaust should slip right out. All right, cool. Okay, so on the opposite side where your foot peg is, right where Connor's pointing, directly on the opposite side, there is another six millimeter Allen key that will, uh, you need to pull that and then the entire exhaust should, should in theory, drop right down. I'm about to find out. Yeah, we're gonna find out. And I pulled that. Let's see what's going on. It's not bolted anywhere else. 
Nope. Alright, so the header pot's completely loose. It's, it's I think got, it's this. Yeah, is that loose enough? Yeah? Should be not. And then these are like rubber grommeted on there, so. I pulled my grommet out. Oh, yeah, you're almost there. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Keep going. Actually, you got a lot more to go. It's coming though. You're almost there. You're a little bit too late. You're almost there. Alright, I'm out of the head over here. We somehow just need to come straight down. Jeez, how deep? Oh, I was like, how deep is that in the inch? Oh, yeah, no, it's just the gasket from the header. Dude, you're so... It's tight in there. It is very tight. Dude, uh, you're so close to being out over here, it's not even funny. You're almost there. So close. There it goes. That's a little gasp on that. Yeah. All right, <laughs> we got it out. It's, it's pretty tight in there, so just as Connor was doing, uh, we went back and forth and uh, she'll pop right out. All right, guys, so as you can see, this is the factory header pipe with the little small cat and the massive muffler. And this is what we'll be going to. So as you can see, it's gonna let her breathe way better. Way, yeah, a lot better. So I'm super pumped and excited. And we're probably like, what do you think, 20 minutes in to get that, the factory muffler off, the header uh, pipe? Yeah, about 20 if you ignore the O2, O2 sensor. sensor plug. Yeah. yeah, we're about 30 minutes all in all into it. So I, I'm gonna guesstimate probably about maybe an hour until we get everything back in and suit it up and get the bike fired back up. Yep. This little gasket that I'm holding in my hand is what, there's a little uh, notched out spot on the top of the head. You're gonna seat that in there and then when you put the header pipe in, it, it'll hold this uh, gasket into the uh, header pipe and the, uh, the, the head of the engine. Okay, so we found out, um, just to make things a little bit easier on us, we're gonna take the, uh, the muffler side of the exhaust out, put the header pipe in first, and then we're gonna mate the muffler uh, to the new um, header pipe. And those are two, what, six mil? Yep, two, two six, six mil, mil uh, Allen, Allen bolts that you need to remove. Okay, while Connor's putting the, tightening the muffler bolts back on, I'm gonna show you guys down here. Uh, we have the exhaust flange back on, mated with the header pipe. And then where the head, the header pipe meets the actual head of the motor, you have your two 13 millimeters as well. Just remember, washer first, lock nut washer and then your 13 millimeter nut and then we're going to put our o2 sensor back in and then we should be uh get everything buttoned up we should have this bike fired back up in i'd say about five ten minutes we're going to go over everything make sure everything's good and tight and then uh we're going to fire this bad boy up for the first time all right so we got everything tightened double check connor's wiping down the exhaust with some alcohol get our nasty greasy fingerprints off of it and then connor and i came up with the idea probably say an hour um, if you have a friend helping you, definitely recommend this being a two-person job, but totally capable of doing this by, uh, doing it by yourself, but it's just nice to have an extra hand, especially when you're putting the header pipe back into the, uh, factory, the factory muffler. So we got everything wiped down and we are probably going to, uh, fire it up. See what she sounds like. Hey, if you hear anything metal vibrating, it's these, it's these cleats. I don't have them tightened down. Check engine light.
All right, Connor's gonna take it down the road real quick. We'll see what he thinks. <laughs> Alright, first impression, what do you think? Uh, she's faster. <laughs> bit like a dirt bike um, and it's really loud but the response that you get just from the exhaust is way it's way more responsive than the factory one and I feel like when I do give it gas between this one and the factory one it was a little sluggish with the factory but this one it clears all that pressure and all that air out so fast that she just wants to rip definitely well worth it All right, so my first reactions after riding the bike, it's definitely a lot peppier. You can definitely tell the throttle response. It's a lot more torquier, and um, I'm gonna agree with what, what Connor says. It does kind of sound like a dirt bike, so maybe in the future uh, we'll put an exhaust on it, but I, he said no. I definitely think it is definitely a, a value-added mod for sure. And like I mentioned, it took us uh, right around an hour to get it done, so def definitely well worth it. Um, it's crazy. He only has like a little over 80 miles on the bike and we're already we're already messing with it. But that's, you know, that's what we do here. And um, that's going to do it for today's video. So if you, if you guys are new here to the channel, please hit that subscribe button. Turn on your post notifications. Leave this video a big thumbs up. We're actually going to film the second part of this video and do the, uh, do the intake as well. So I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace.